Well, how do you do, failers? All right, so today we're going to try and mount a Nitro Moose with a Anaconda uh, tire changer. This is the first time. I just uh, got it yesterday and got it put together today and got time to uh, try to mount this. Um, today, we got the, uh, it's the standard Nitro Moose from New Tech silver which is a standard PSI which is 10 to 12 PSI we got nitro lube I also had to order extra nitro lube I'm putting two in these tires instead of one and we're gonna be mounting it up to uh, my Shinko 216 MX uh, front tire this is a 9121, so it's a fatty. So far, I love this stinking tire. Um, I'm going over to the Nitro Moose because I was using tubeless and I had a blowout on my back tire at the, at the bead. So I'm switching over. I don't want that happening again. It happened twice to me. And so I'm switching over to Nitro Moose. So this is a non-cowboy hat event. Um, I'm a sweater, so I do not recommend you wearing your cowboy hat on this one. And always have your extra sweaty hat. And of course, we're supporting AOAA trails, because that's where we ride and we support our local dealers. So, I, um, I prepped the front wheel here. I got two rolls of uh, duct tape going around. I have a Schrader valve. Um, for uh, the seat to beat of the tire if I have to, and we got the rim lock. So, what we're gonna do here is first put our glove on, because this nitro mousse is extremely slippy. And I, I highly, highly recommend you wearing old clothes. I tried mounting the front or the back tire the other day uh, without the Anaconda tire changer and I will tell you it was a complete nightmare. I do not recommend you um, trying to do it without this tire machine. So I'm squeezing this whole entire tube into the tire here and I'm going to spread it around it's a silicone based gel of some sort and it's already dripping all right I think the best and safest way is lay the tire on its side So yeah, I tried doing the back tire the other day, and you ain't gonna believe it, but it actually took me nine hours of uh, fighting the tire because I put double bead locks on the rim, and uh, I was fighting that second bead lock. So that there was the old tire changer there that I was using. I will be getting rid of that. Okay, so that's one tube. And they claim one tube is plenty, but I don't want to be dismounting the tire if I don't have to, to re-lube it. So I'm going to be safe. And put two in. Uh, riding at AOA trails, there is a lot of water. So a lot of people use uh, Murphy's tire soap. Try to keep it off the bead. 
And that stuff is great, but since we ride in an area in, in, in uh, Pennsylvania here where it's fairly wet here, I mean, it's not overly wet like some of the other countries and stuff, but um, it's uh, we definitely want to keep everything nice and looped. And I'm already getting the stuff over my rim. So I'm going to put about three quarters of this lube inside the tire there. Now, spread it around a little bit better. Now, if you noticed, I did not put any lube on this foam insert. On the, on the uh, lube itself, it tells you put the whole entire content inside of the tire. A couple of rotations of the tire will uh, spread the, the lube. Now I got a feeling I'm going to have this stuff all over me, but it is what it is. So the rest of it, I'm going to put a fine, fine bead. On the nitro mousse. And this is just going to help get it over the rim. If you would loop up the uh, the foam insert when you go to mount this, it would basically squeeze itself off the rim, and uh, yeah, we do not want to do that. Definitely a messy project. So, we're going to set here, set this here for now. We're going to clamp our hands, take off the messy glove. And uh, I forgot my soap and water, so we'll be right back. All right, so I'm back here. I got my soap and water. Now we tried keeping that nitro lube off the bead. So what I'm gonna do here is lightly spray the bead with just soap and water. And this is gonna help get the tire on over the bead. So this tire is directional. So I gotta make sure I mount it correctly. So I put the tire under the bead lock and then I'm gonna push it on by hand. Got my tire spins out of the holder so the Anaconda. Uh, of course the wind's gonna try and be my friend. Wow. 
off that under. So there it is. The tire is on. Now I'm going to push the tire down so the nitro mousse is in the drop dead center of the rim. So I'm going to spin the tire and right here is the rim lock. So I'm going to Try to get the bead underneath the rim there. Grab more tire spoons. Tire spoons are your friends here, especially on this job. I'm using Tusk tire spoons. These are 15 inch. So when you mount a moose, my understanding is you got to use some spoons and they call them ramps. And what that does is it forces the tire down into the drop dead center. So far, everything is working great. I'm going to put a spoon in here, using my body weight. Continue to go around. Actually, I did that wrong. I wanted my, my rim lock is here. Put a ramp in, or what they call a ramp. Now I'm just taking little bites. So those ramps are what they're doing is they're forcing the tire down in. The, the center of the of the uh, rim. So I'm going to stop right there once. This side here isn't going down. So I'm going to put a ramp in here. And that there should help force it when I continue to pull it. I'm taking very small bites. Let up. Now, we basically have it on. And I'll tell you what, that was the easiest thinking change I have ever did in my entire life with anything, with any kind of tubes, anything. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna push in on my rim lock. And now I'm going to pull this lever down. So 
So I'm pushing in on the rim lock. Lift up here. Pushing in on the rim lock. We don't have quite enough tire on yet, I guess. We'll come back. Always fun when you're fighting stuff. So I'm pushing in on the rim lock. sweating. And there it is. Rim locks in there. Pull all your springs out. All I gotta do is tighten up. Yeah. Tighten up the rim lock and we're done. The bee is fully seated. And uh, wow. I don't know how long that took me, but that was no nine hours like I did with a back tire. So, uh, if you guys like this content, please hit the like button. That helps out the channel quite a bit. And uh, if you're not a NFL subscriber, please subscribe. Um, we will be riding at AOAA this coming Saturday. All right, fellas, if you like this, please hit the like button, subscribe, and until next time, yee yee.